Um, hi to everybody online. Hi to everybody in the room. Um, oh, thanks. The, the mic's roaming as well. Um, those that have been in a lecture class with me before uh, know the drill here. I like to open with a poll. Um, so if you can, get your cell phones out. And, and welcome to everybody online as well. Uh, cell phones or a browser tab for those online. It should work either way. Um, so if you can text the word Boyd in the message to 22333 or go to polyv.com slash Boyd. And I, I want sort of three separate texts if we could. How are you feeling on your hunt for your whatever it is, uh, internship, next job? On a one, it's a disaster zone, dumpster fire. Please don't talk about it. That's why I'm here. Through to four, I'm feeling really good. Um, I'm here just to polish up some tips. So put a number in as one text, if you can. Um, and I'm just trying to um, search it. Great. Well, as soon as I see one entry, I know it's working. Um, and then, so one, one to four scale. Get off the middle. So it's not red, yellow, green. It's like one at the bottom, four at the top, five, 3.5, super. And then one word on where you're hunting. Can you use like if it's a sector or if it's a startup versus established, whatever keyword comes into your mind. It has to be Chicago. Um, it has to be Edinburgh, Scotland, whatever it is. Um, if you can put a word, word on that. And then another word that I'd love is how to make this session most useful to you in the hour. So I'm just going to leave that as we go. And Kate, if you can maybe put those in, uh, maybe fill out those instructions on Zoom uh, as people are coming in so that they know what to do, um, that would be great. So some threes, some twos. So obviously, the bigger the number, the more popular it is. So I'm getting a little bar chart of no fours yet, or one four. Uh, startup, NYC, CSR, stressed. Nervous and super. This is a good variety so far. Has to be in technology. Just gonna, since I'm not using this, I'm gonna get my tripwire out of the way. I feel safer. Welcome all those coming in. Um, the, the, the lure is to concentrate is that the lunch is grab and go at the end, not, not, not eating now. Uh, so hang on. Even worse for those in person, the smells are probably going to come in, waft in, and then you can only get it at the end. Um, but it'll be a quick hour. I promise that. Um, great stuff. So those that are coming in, thanks very much for joining, uh, both online and in person. Uh, good to see you all. Um, Hosted by, uh, as, as, as you're still answering here, hosted by CBay, represented here by Heather. Is there any questions for CBay? Um, thanks to Kate as well. Kate Mara, she's here too. Uh, our super TF. Um, and then um, hosted also by the careers development offices in both YSC. I think Kevin Doyle's representing us online um, and, and, and SOM as well. Um, so yeah, just as you're checking in, just to get a, a feel for who's here, um, one is this like uh, the barometer, just how are you feeling about your hunt on a one to four scale? One being terrible, four being amazing. Um, one word on where you're hunting, either an industry, a, a, a keyword, or a city, if it's a geography that comes to mind. And one, one word on making this session most useful. So goal setting, perspective in terms of uh, cues for me here. Um, some infrastructure, or that might be where you're hunting. Um, Things that are actionable, I'm getting there as well. Somebody looking for a remote job, NYC. Somebody might be working, looking to work for CBay. Somebody wants something, <laughs> which is good, Heather. Yeah, see Heather on the way out. Um, um, excellent. Uh, remote strategy. Who's the dominant one, which is probably right for a workshop on the hunt at this stage in spring. So um, uh, that's about right. But good that one is smaller than two. Excellent. Thanks very much, everybody. And and it looks like 60 results already. So I'm going to I'm going to move on. That's that's a sort of quorum. That's democracy talking. Um, so we'll move on. Thank you. We've got a lot to get through in an hour. Um, and, and I want to sort of find out a bit more about you guys first as well. So let's see if that works. No, I think I have to go here. There we go. Uh, there. 
So welcome to the session. Again, a couple of slides for those that know me from other courses and workshops um, that you'll see before. Diversity, it's super important um, in, in this room and, it, and online on Zoom, but it's also super important in life and indeed your hunt is this like to almost like to, to know your, your dimensions of diversity, to celebrate them. Um, good employers and good hirers uh, know that diversity breeds excellence and makes for a higher performing team. So um, diversity is even more important than normal. Um, in terms of subtleties and inclusion, if you need anything said or unsaid, um, please let me know sort of in person or use the chat. Um, Kate Mayer is in the room, actually not at this very second, um, uh, to sort of keep an eye on the chat um, um, on any of that. Um, and then sort of forgive, be kind to each other, just a little rule of the road for today. Um, we're trying to do uh, the wonderful world of hybrid. Everyone in, uh, that's lived through COVID knows how wonderful hybrid is when you've got, and it's neither on Zoom or in person. Uh, so we'll make the best of it. And then get a, grab a pen and paper if you can. There's just something about the thought process of a pen and a piece of paper um, that um, is better than uh, tapping away. Fantastic. And that goes for everybody um, that's uh, joining online as well. Pen and paper better. Thanks very much. Uh, so in less than 60 minutes, um, this is what I wanted to, to, to sort of get across slash del deliver for you. Um, thinking about the word connected, becoming more comfortable, um, even excited about the pursuit of opportunity, um, connecting your pursuit to your purpose and to your identity, your story. Um, structure, experiment with, and then before adapting for yourself, any templates that I, 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 I'm sort of giving over to today is for you to bend and break and play with, not for, it's, 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 this isn't a course, this isn't um, a, a, a sort of any forced uh, format. Um, but it, the idea is that it sharpens your narrative and hopefully you marry your head and your heart, your brain and your gut. And then on tactics, I want to close on tactics, cover some tactics that could help maximize your time on this effort. Um, so for those in the room, you've got the elements of, of some sheets uh, that we'll be going through. Um, those that are in pers perspectives course, one's familiar and the other two are different. Um, and those online, if you see uh, both the, um, I think there's hopefully a link in the chat, but also that bit link that is on the bottom of most pages, T for G, Yale Hunt Workbook. Um, and that is a one um, uh, that you can, you can sort of join along, either print out or not. And I'm just going to so I can see it and not create my head. We're gonna just change some things here on the screen. Excellent. Okay, and, and the idea of this, one of my favorite quotes is just like the, this, this pursuit is almost like ongoing through life. The templates that I, I'm sharing with you today and the approach that we're thinking about um, is one that I do with sort of senior executives that are in their 50s um, looking for their next chapter and um, after a, a long career. I've got, I've got these running as well. It's just like it's, a, it's, it's almost like it's a journey that's never finished uh, for the reason sort of put, put, put on the board. Um, so um, intros and starting points, I just want to get a bit more from you. Framework and structure, that's where I'm going to spend the bulk of my time and then close in on, on, on strategies and tactics. Um, is that a good use of time? Thumbs up, nods, excellent. It's so good to have sort of real people, um, <laughs> as well as you people on screen as well, um, of course. Um, okay, uh, so in terms of this, like who, who am I for those that are joined us from the Yale community and it was on the Seabay website, um, Peter Boyd, resident fellow at Center Business and Environment. I'm also a lecturer here at the Yale School of the Environment and a lecturer in the practice of management uh, at SOM for an elective on the executive MBA program. Um, I've got a non-linear career. I've sort of j jumped across all over the place, so I can speak to a few of these sectors, not as a deep expert, but as, as, as a tourist. Um, I'm very curious about, well, obviously, my own career, but also about just about everybody I speak to in one-on-ones and, and workshops, and that's why I created this workshop, was from the sort of 50 hundreds of, of one-on-ones, and like, where are people going um, on this wonderful non-linear life we have? Um, the, if for anyone for a quick book recommendation, Range by David Epstein, I, I feel like that book was written for me as I read it. It's like how generalists triumph in a specialized world. How can you could sort of pick up and benefit from the various pieces of experience in life? Um, so I've got experience in the private sector, uh, nonprofit, some government, some, Ye some Yale stuff, obviously. I also sort of semi-jokingly put in an ultramarathon across the desert because I just think that this sort of, I'm, I learned as much about leadership and hunting for things that uh, sort of are worthwhile and not quitting uh, from something like that as I did from any, any of the other sectors. So that's my five sectors. Um, so in terms of my purpose, and, and, and I want to tap you or re -back, you know, tap you back into your purpose if we've done it before together or fresh if, if, you, if we haven't met. 
Um, so I just wanted to catch you to my purpose. Um, this is my vision uh, in terms of like a, a world where uh, we're all inspired, equipped, and connected to improve the world around us. Um, and then as a mission, I want to inspire and empower the curious to build meaningful connections between their purpose, the people they care about around them, and the systems that they want to change in the world. Um, so that's what's exciting about uh, workshops like this uh, outside my core courses, um, because it's all about making this happen. So very excited to be here. Thank you for your time as well. I know it's precious. Um, for those that don't know me and aren't used to um, the Scottish accent is speed, apologies. Just try and uh, bear with me. Um, as I say, Kate's there on Zoom chat. If, for those online, if you didn't uh, sort of make a word that I said, feel free to put your hand up in the room. And for those in the room, there's the luxury of as we grab food, and there's something that I said too quickly or in a strange accent, then feel free to sort of stop me afterwards. Um, I can hang around afterwards. Um, so in terms of what we're doing here, I always just like, like to think of this as sort of path building suggestions. Uh, so here's some templates, here's some things to do. I don't want to touch, it's almost like your landscape, your forest. It's, it's your forest, it's you know the landscape, you know, you know where you want to live, you know where you want to work. Um, so it's just like ways to cut through the forest, ways to build bridges, um, rather than a, a sort of trying to suggest to you any particular career. So what, I want to sort of get a, a sense of the room and also for you to get a sense of the room too, um, of uh, just a, a couple of questions I want. First, first, first question is this, how has the last, actually it's not, it's not a few months, there it is, how has the last two years altered your world? So same, text, same texting as you did before, you should already be talking to the screen, uh, again, whether you're online, uh, joining us on Zoom or on the phone. Um, The optimists are faster on the keys. Anyone tempted to do D because that's how they feel? It's completely anonymous, all, all the polls. And I, it's, it's obviously a non-academic uh, workshop here. Uh, but it's uh, that creeped in an immediate 4% uh, came in. Um, Great, but, but on the positive side, like interesting, this has caused me to pause, think, and not necessarily in a bad way. Excellent. Feel like that's a good portion of the room and, and, and online. Thank you, next question. And hopefully this is getting you to think, you know, sort of you feel free to think, think of these questions too. I'll screen grab everything you see. It will go on a, on a link that will be on uh, the CBA website, the same event page afterwards. So including the results of these polls. Um, so what are, you, what are you currently pursuing? Wow, big, big spike on, on a fresh fork, a new direction in a different industry. She helps me on where to sort of emphasize the next half an hour. Not too many people, I suppose it's a self-selecting group, ha happy with the same organization they're currently in. Um, okay. And happy to stay around afterwards and chat about F, if, the, if, there's, a, if the, the, there's another I'm, another I'm not capturing. Great, thank you. Almost a perfect bell curve on its side. Um, um, okay, do you have a list already on your hunt? And if yes, what package is it in? Oh. That doesn't seem to be um, showing me options. You should normally get your letters. There we go. And obviously, I, I, by PowerPoint, Excel, Word, I mean the Google equivalents as well and, and anything else. So really sort of slide, spreadsheet, document is what I should have said. Yeah, but a lot of... Actually, quite a lot of people in the sort of, not yet, it's, it's in my head and it's brewing nicely. Um, and, and quite a few people with more than one different place. And then Excel winning on those that do have a list. Okay, as you'll see later, I, um, I, I'm, I'm not sort of format agnostic on this. I do have a preference um, uh, to, to recommend. Great, but quite a fair few there on, on F and G. Thanks very much, great, okay. 
I'm almost, almost done on the questions to help, help us out. Um, let's see. Hold on. Doesn't always get, there we go. Um, so the, in this last, you know, sort of 45 minutes now, uh, we've got some work we can get started on right now. So just I want to know where your headspace is as, as a group, both Zoom, online, and here. Good, some honest, some honest lunchers on Zoom. Thanks for being so, so, so fast. Um, Bless you. Okay. The on uh, the 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 multitasking lunchers were just fast on, fast on the draw. Uh, most of you are ready to do to do a, a sort of workshop piece in it. Okay, I think this is the last question. There you go. Um, and just to almost like a, in a terms of a variety, of, uh, like a where to emphasize on the on, on the next uh, the, the next minutes we have together. Great, really useful. Thank you. So, 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 from from the hunt, name of the workshop to the, to the hustle uh, is is the winning is the winning answer there. Excellent. Thanks very much for that, everybody. You can now do sort of uh, phones down if you want to sort of t add another ten percent of processing capacity. You can put it away because um, that's what it it takes up off off you if uh, if it's if it's near you. Um, and then in terms of framework, then. Um, again, those that sort of are with me on other lectures, I'm going to hang on to uh, the connected leadership framework that we, we've done in some other courses. Um, and the simple sort of cross-life logic flow, I said I had a non-linear career that I was sort of fascinated about, was the sort of first, like great, you know, so great leaders and hunters um, on these things, know why you're here and know why those around you are here. Then knowing what's important to you, and then be very clear on the destination on what's important to you, and then drive your actions from the first two and get it on a page. Um, so you can infect yourself positively and, and, the, and those around you. What I think is really exciting about sort of tweaking this logic for the, for the hunt is like, know what gets you excited because that's actually gonna get other people excited too. And then articulate what's important to you and what makes you important to others. That sort of story that's got two halves to it is, this kind of, is in essence on the hunt. Um, and then drive your hunt from those f first two things and you know, sort of work off one spreadsheet. Um, so you've got it in one place, and you're hunting off, off, off one, one consolidated place. So um, I, again, no, no, I'm going to do this in any great detail here, but the idea of like a leader being connected because you're mindful on your purpose, your priorities, your potential, your goals, and your progress, and holding yourself to account at the same time. So you're thinking through those things, and you're as strong as the weakest of the fibers. In terms of the hunt, the idea is like you know, clarifying why you're here, what you want, and what really gets you buzzing and going. Um, what's important and what's not in the search. Um, on priorities, take a, get a highly personalized list of opportunities to pursue, doors to knock on, a targeted approach, and a tight story. And then potential, vividly imagine what it's like after the hunt and sort of update that picture, especially for those that um, you know, selling yourself um, is, is, it doesn't, isn't sort of first nature and it takes some work to do. And, and so likewise, networking is sometimes tougher for some than for others. Is that idea like, well, the effect of networking is that I'm serving the world. So how can, on the sort of more introverted end, sort of power yourselves up? And on the extroverted end, sort of be sensitive to who's in the room and who's interviewing you. Um, but really, on the introverted side, how can we power up and imagine the future post this uncomfortable uh, hunt period? And then on the progress side, a multi-tab spreadsheet that keeps you focused, keeps you honest, keeps you sort of with yourself and improving. So that's the idea. So let's dive into purpose. Um, and oh, flash. Um, maybe, maybe if somebody could buzz, buzz Will and see, see what he's doing there. Um, it looks like it's, if there's no cord, I'm just sharing with Zoom. I'm just sharing via Zoom. So, so Zoom's probably having a good time here. Um, and this is a little bit, uh, it's looking fine on this screen. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it will be sort of slightly a bit, a bit of a bad air show for now. But the good thing is, for those in the room, you've got a sheet. Um, 
Um, so, so the idea of like, making the hunt better for all is the idea of starting with yourself, really knowing yourself, then thinking about what are the powerful stories, and then selling them. But if we don't start with ourselves first, then the stories aren't going to be so good, and then the sell's not going to be so good. And sometimes we, in, 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 in the hunt almost, we're worried about the sell, but we're not sort of started from a sort of a really strong place at the core. So um, again, those are perspectives. You've seen the sheet before. Those not, they're new to it. I'm just going to cover it now. There's two sheets here um, as well that I want to cover. So as I say, skip ahead if you are familiar with this. Um, and if not, um, I'm just going to sort of go through this question by question. Um, it, all, it, it also works, oh, settle down here. It also works here, um, again, those have done this in my courses, to kind of do this with, almost like with a new title, which says the hunt now, like the hunt for the new job, the hunt for the internship. What are my answers to these questions? And check back in. Um, so the first one I like, I like to get people to think about is, is the fork in the road. Like you are at a fork in the road now, everyone, and especially that top answer on like where you're going, 45% want a new industry and a new opportunity. Um, so why do you decide to be at this fork in the road, 1A? Why do you choose to be at this particular fork in the road? Own the choices that got you here. On 1B, it's like, why do you think you're a good person to be here at this fork in the road? What attributes have brought you to this fork? What's in your knapsack um, that, that's got you here? Um, on your horizons, I, I, I kind of play with going artificially long and artificially short. So artificially long, why are you excited about where you could be in five to 10 years? This is not the standard interview question on where do you see yourself in five to 10 years and you have to have a very impressive answer. This is more the personal answer that says, why am I excited to be me five to 10 years older? Like, like what is it about the future that that, that, that excites me? Um, and then the, the, this 2B is the artificially short horizon. If you knew you only had a few months left on the planet, say, um, what would you ensure gets done and why? You can be as dramatic as you like. A few months left at your current job, for those that are joining via Zoom and in a current job, um, or sort of, you know, life itself. And then 3B is this, uh, 3A and B is this almost like the inner engine, the you. Um, when are you in flow across work activities, across play activities, and maybe try and think of a back in childhood activity too. And then the big 3B, why are you here? What are, what are you going to do with your one wild and precious life? Um, again, revisit that if you've, if you've seen these questions before. And then um, all those, for those online, uh, if, all these, I'm gonna sort of skip over them and, and make them small, but um, they are in the template that is downloadable on, on the link and everyone here, the, you've, you've, got, you've got your paper in front of you. Thank you, Amy. The, 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 the hunt specific purpose questions that we sort of added, added over the years and chatting to lots of people uh, like, like that are here in the room right now, is I call the first group a sort of huge or nothing questions. So the huge or nothing questions might be like huge to some of you and nothing to others. And so almost like know which ones, like almost like circles, like yes, that's a, that's a question for me. So for instance, coast and geography. Um, coming from Scotland, I'm always amazed by sort of, I have to go back to the West Coast or I have to go to New York. Um, and the sort of geographic pool. And then others go, I could be anywhere. You know, sort of, I, you know, like, I, don't, I don't mind. Um, you know, like, like I'm expected to travel. So then it's a nothing. Um, partner, family, huge consideration if, that's, if there, that, that might be one or not. Like, no, that's not the sort of life stage I'm in right now. Um, faith, identity, like, 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 you know, and being with others of, 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 of similar, and that might be really important to you. And there might be another thing in the purple bit that I have not thought of, but is huge to you. Almost like put that down. What's the non-negotiable has to be part of your hunt? The second thought is some more tactical wise. Like the, what problems are you passionate about solving in the world? Again, some of this have been in my courses, like, like you know, like what system do you just want to fix? Um, should those problems be core to the org's mission or part of what they do? What I mean by that is like, say you want to solve climate change. Do you have to work for, like, do you want to work for a solar company? Um, do you want to sort of save trees and like out in the field? Or do you want to work for Patagonia, one of the least evil coaling companies? Um, you know, sort of, you know, you know, sort of, you know, in which case it's like, you know, it's part of what they do, but you wouldn't say that they're solving climate change. So it's almost like that idea of like, is it part of the mission or is it, no, the mission has to, you know, like the mission is the company. So have a think about that. Um, fixer upper or learn from best in class. The idea of like, I would love to go into a company that's struggling and turn it, and help them turn it around. Great example we chat about again in the garment industry is like somebody's just being caught, I don't know, poisoning a river in China. 
as, as they look like, do you want to work for that company? Because they are going to turn around their, their whole supply chain. Um, and a CSO has just come in that you want to kind of hitch your wagon to and, and, and work for. Or again, go back to Patagonia. I want to work for Patagonia and learn from the best. And then, you know, when I'm more senior, I want to go fix something. So have a think about that as well. Um, consulting or client side, hugely different energies between consulting, like the peaks of the delivery, and then the kind of, the kind of just delivered, well, they, it's theirs now, um, and then another peak of a delivery, and then down, client, and then client side, constant pressure, um, and there's many more pieces about being consulting and client side. And again, talk about nonlinear career, you don't have to make the decision sort of one, you know, sort of once forever, but what do you want next? Um, uh, small versus large, kind of obvious, startup challenger versus established incumbent, the disruption of an entrepreneurial uh, company, versus the sort of, you know, turning the big beast um, or the, that you might want to join and say like, well, they're an industry leader, imagine the change they could make. Um, and any others, again, in that sort of tactical sort of, that's where I want to engage, that's what's going to fire me up. And then the last piece is maybe less important, it's just like over the years of sort of chatting to people like you guys one-on-one, -on -one, is this idea of like, we might be initially fixated on the corporate form. Is it a 501c3 nonprofit or is it a for-profit? And I'm just saying maybe that's important to you, but I, I kind of, I gray it out. It's just like, try, and so, so, try some of the more exciting questions first, because that might get you to somewhere uh, more interesting and less crowded. Um, you know, sort of, and, and uh, another one that people tend to overly, I, I think, fixate on is like, does my direct experience look perfect for them? Um, and, but, but feel free to answer that if you think, yeah, that's, that's important. But often, it's less important to you and it's less important to the employer. And as I say, the corporate form, almost less so. So hopefully you've been scribbling. I, I see many people are doing it in the room. That's great. Scribbling, scribble, uh, in it, because it's a short hour, is, uh, is just like scribble on the pieces that sort of speak to you right now. Um, and just sort of say like, like, that's an interesting question to answer right now across the two sheets. And I'll happily take any questions on process, either online or, or in the room. Yeah, this is a speed intro to some, some of the sort of tools and uh, to sort of lean into over the next few days. Um, maybe if you could start, maybe circle or, or asterisk a question amongst the two sheets that got you thinking. It's like, that's interesting for my job hunt. That's, um, that's, that's something that, uh, you know, sort of got me onto a new direction. Um, for those online, if you could put into the, into the Zoom chat function, wh which of any of the questions, 1A, 1B, to through to 3B and any of the ones on the second sheet, um, if you could just drop into the chat function what, what um, uh, struck you. And anyone in the room, do you want to, I, I, I heard a sort of a rustle as people in, immediately went to one to circle. Who, what, what did people circle in the room? Anyone? Yes. Uh, I circle, why are you excited about where you can be five to 10 years? Because I think, I think that's just an interesting perspective of not just where will I be, but what am I going to be excited about? So I like that. Great, thank you very much. Thanks for that. Anyone else? There was a flurry of circling and asterisking in the middle pack here. Yes, I'll do, take you two. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I think uh, about the future nothing. For me, geography actually involves other aspects. For example, family, partner, and it's, it's all kind of yeah, it's a, a, a mix, a, a mesh. Yeah, great, thank you. Um, 
Yeah. I think that's a very important question in terms of the add value of the um, Yeah. Great. Yeah. One, one. So that's one B for anyone that's on, online. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that how you add value? Okay. Anything else from online? Yeah, and I'm going to try to see if unmuting myself helps folks hear more. We've got a couple. So what problem am I passionate about fixing? Got someone thinking most. Uh, and then consulting stood out to me as a way to possibly have a bigger impact in the world. So thinking about that. Ah, uh, the consulting, consulting concept. Yeah. Great. What I really encourage, I, I know we have to fit into your lunch hour and, and, the, and, and Zoom as well onto, onto your lunch hour. So there's not the normal workshop sort of opportunity to kind of mix and do breakouts and come back. So feel free for those in, in, in person as you're grabbing food, sort of take any of these questions to each other. If you've got a friend in the room as well, sort of, uh, you know, sort of say, like, let's chat about sort of which, whichever one it is. Talking this stuff through, it's almost like listening how you're, how you're talking about it is a crucial part of this hunt because it's like you get better and better at your narrative every time you're telling it. And especially with a friend, because your friend goes, oh, hold on, that doesn't sound like you. Um, you know, like, and, they can, and they can stop you um, as well in a way that you know, sort of I can't or, or a stranger in a breakout. Um, great, great, great variety there. Thanks very much. And you've, you've, you've shared it and uh, circled it. Thank you. Um, um, I shared the answers. We'll do that. We've done that as well. Um, further options here. Um, there's, there's, there's a lovely sort of TED talk um, on, from Clayton Christensen, an HBS professor, How Will You Measure Your Life? Uh, Simon Sinek's uh, Lead from Why. Um, Amy Rezneski's writing on calling, which I, I, I'm drawing a lot of the stuff um, uh, so, sort of from, from, from the sort of uh, 3A on, and there's many more. So the idea there, yes, yeah, sort of compare notes, finish this with a bit more time. Um, those, again, that have been on my courses, you might, I always nudge a, a, into Ikigai. I like that concept, the, the, the intersect of you know, what you want to do in life, uh, what the world needs, what you can be paid for, and what you're good at. And is it that sort of sweet spot in the middle and the answers. And, the, and one of the templates I've got on the spreadsheet side, you can jot those notes right next to where you're hunting. Um, so, so just to sort of hack the back end of, this, this, of, of all those questions, um, just so you know why I'm asking those. On, on this one, it's like, this is your anchor. Own the choices to your fork. As a huge amount of people saying, I want a new opportunity in a new industry. So it's, it's like, own the choices. Like, I want to change because. Um, it's going to be powerful to your narrative, too, when you're in front of somebody. Um, and then on the 1B, that's, uh, um, uh, uh, Daniel, th thanks very much for raising that. It's the sort of the boost, the pitch. It's just like, that's what you're going to need when you're on the, on the hunt. Uh, and go there when you're feeling, write it when you're feeling good, and then go there and power up from what you wrote there. Again, that, that crucial piece, especially on the introvert-extrovert spectrum of like, write it down first, and then you're sort of, you're, you're much more able to sort of express it because you've written it down in a good way. Um, on the horizon side, thanks very much for a uh, person at the back there for, for saying like that got me thinking. It's your eye on the prize. It's like, is your current sort of search building towards that happy, excited you in five to 10 years? And if, like, if there's anything, anything on your hunt list that is not helping you get there, in fact, is off track, you know, so someone might cross it out now. Um, I, there might be some useful words for the impact statement at the bottom as well um, in there. Uh, this one is really useful for priorities. It's hacking the urgent and important matrix and sort of getting you to think about what's important but not urgent. So, so think about, like, almost like look at that one and go, yeah, those things potentially are the important, not urgent things, but why am I working on those things now? On, on 3A, um, job crafting, you want to try and pick a job that has what you put 3A1 in it. If not, why not? You know, it's just like, like, because you're going to be in flow when you're brainstorming or when you're writing a paper or when you're uh, sort of in the dark coding at night. It's like whatever you put down there is 3A1. Hopefully your stuff on your job hunting spreadsheet is, is, is sort of delivering that. Otherwise, you're not going to sort of be landing in a good spot. Um, 3A2, I just put that in there so that in your, in your nights and weekends and whole month, have you got enough of that activity to recharge? Um, for instance, in, in, in front of an interview, it's just like, can you do this thing beforehand? Uh, whether it's yoga, go for a run, whatever you said. 3A3, I really like for the job hunt. It's, it's because it's a strong place where you went to flow, flow state and you were ready for an adventure. Whether you said biking in the hills or jumping off a cliff into the ocean or just being outside generally, it's just like, think of this as like this, the, the, the next hunt is, is that metaphor. Whatever you put there, it's a strong place to go. It's just, it's just another bike ride out in the, in the valley. It's just another jump off the cliff into the ocean. It's, just like, it's a really strong place for you to feel confident. Um, 
And then three B, hopefully your mission and calling align over time. And that was just and and, and sort of that's why that's there. And then the idea is that you can sort of condense all this when you've got more time and say, what is my vision and mission? What is my purpose? And can I articulate it in a sentence that feels and sounds right to me? Because you're going to be saying it a lot when you're on, when you're on the hunt. Um, and on these three, just for really quickly, don't ignore who you are, what's really important to you. Um, that's why I sort of, sort of, you know, sort of asked the, the purple questions. On the red questions, these could really help with filtering and, and filtering what's good, what's bad, and what to hunt for. And then these ones may help, but I just always say like, but they may help less than you think. And you might be fixating more, you know, like too much on this side and not enough thought on, 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 the, on, the, on the left two columns. Okay, so that's purpose. And, and, and you know, sort of for those that know me, it's just that I think everything builds off that. It's as if you, you create this strength from coming from purpose. And that strength can't be sort of almost like, can't be faked. And also it's infectious when you're in front of the interviewer. Because it's like, I can see that person wants to be here and why they want to be here. So sort of almost like, don't underestimate the time invested in that place because everything builds on that. Um, so let's go to priorities. Um, this is the sort of the hunt version of priorities uh, for me. Think of, if, if you can, think of two triangles. And this is the third sheet uh, for those that have got it on printout. It's slide five of the, of the workbook uh, for those online. Um, think of, of, of the idea of like, if you just, and that classic elevator statement, if you had one sentence, to say, what makes this opportunity that I'm going for, or this area, this keyword that you put in the star of the poll everywhere, what makes this opportunity crucial and great for me? Like, why am I, why am I super excited about X if I just had one sentence? And it could be in general about your hunt, or it could be like, like if you almost like tilt your focus and say, I'm looking at Target or Patagonia. Um, it's just like, what's, what's super exciting about either a particular role or in general about your job hunt? Why are you hunting for what you're hunting? And the answers could be on the last two sheets. Then the next piece is the idea is like, well, if you, if you, if you had less, a bit more than 30 seconds, as all informational interviews of even 10, 15 minutes have, um, it's like, what's the A, B, C, D? What's the components, the key components of what you're excited about? And it could be, I love it if I can use your mesh example. It's just like, what's really important to me is like, you guys are in you know, sort of th this area. Um, you know, like my family goes back centuries here. I want to be here. It's my community. This is important to me. And, and that could be part of A. Um, or it could be because it's consulting. Somebody said consulting side, um, et cetera. So what's, what, does, what does the top sentence split into? And then what are all the lovely stories that back that up? If, if the interviewer or the hiring person or the network person is interested, tell me more about B. Like what is, oh, well, I've got B1, B2, B3 about why that's perfect for me. But the key point in this is plan it out as a triangle and don't get lost. It's like, I, I, it's, it's, it's almost like, I think I've lost count of, of, of the and interviewers that I chat to, lost count of the amount of people that come at you from this angle and start telling you some really interesting stories. And then, and, then, and then I feel like it's my job to kind of abstract that. So what you're looking for is A, B, and C? Is that right? I say, yes, or no, you have, you've got it wrong. And they tell me five more stories. So, so, so the idea is like, do the work on a piece of paper, and then you invert it so that you can sort of take people from the top down so that they don't get lost in what you're looking for. It's super helpful, not only in an interview, but it's also helpful in the helpers. Because if you can pitch, I'm really looking for A, B, and C, I go, oh, I know five people that work in that area. But if you tell me five stories to get there, I don't know who to connect you to. So, 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 so that's, that's the sort of, sort of do, do the work however way you want to, bottom up, but then make sure you can describe it top down. And then the work, then the, the same thing is on the other side. What about me is crucial and great for them? Plug into your 1B uh, to take your point, point, point there. It's just like, what are the stuff that sort of, they should be interested in me? And it could be as simple, take diversity, which I opened the slide on. It's just like, I'm Scottish. Um, I'm only been here for five years. You're like, I've got, a, I've got a, an outsider's view of America. It could be as simple as that. No skill involved, but they might want that. And I think it's really important to me too. Um, or there could be something in there like hardcore skills, hard skills. So think hard skills, soft skills, dimensions of diversity. But what makes you interesting to them? And again, if you only had like 10 seconds to convince the person, if you had like, oh, what does that go into? A, B, C, D, and it's like, oh, this, I can, t I can bore you, bore you senseless about Edinburgh. You know, so it's like, like, like I've, got, I've got lots of stories about that, you know, sort of, and, and you've got the stories. And again, it doesn't matter how you do the work, but can you then sort of, you've got your schematic on the page, which is like almost like your narrative, and you don't get lost in your own narrative.
Okay, see a few nods. Excellent. Um, so that's 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 the sheet. Um, so I'm just going to leave you for a minute, just in case something struck you, just like it did with the purpose sheets. Um, you think I need to scribble something down on my triangles. Um, so I'm just going to go quiet for a minute and let, and let you do that. But being uh, a workshop in your lunch hour, I'm not going to give you enough time to write enough down. So sorry about that. Uh, to, to finish you on time, especially as the food gathers here, um, just leave your thoughts sort of. So sketch that out. As I say, be comfortable sort of wherever you go. Often people come, say, like, like start with a bigger piece of paper or start with um, Miro or something else online. So you've, you've got, you've got, you're not space constrained. But actually, in the end, it's quite good to be space constrained. It's quite good to have uh, that one sheet. Imagine being, having a Zoom call, for instance, with one of the interviews, and you've got that sort of triangle not only in your head, but it's, it's down in front of you. You won't get lost in terms of your narrative and what you want to say in what order. Um, um, so the homework, if you want it, uh, obviously this is not academic, so, so, so it's completely optional, is pitch your, your two triangles uh, to a friend. Oh, I just saw there. Thanks, Richard. Um, say like, like you know, post-it notes are a good tool too. Yeah, sort of put them on the room. Yeah, put them on the side. Um, I, I, I'm sort of in COVID, I'm sort of not used to the old school tools. Um, yeah, so put them on the wall, rearrange them, elevate things, etc. That's another good, great way of doing it. So pitch your two two triangles when you're getting close to a friend, and then try and clearly communicate what's really interesting and great about a position or an org or more general, the keyword you're, you're, you're pursuing, and what might be really interesting and great for you for them. And, and pitch a friend. And again, and again, listen to yourself, but also get the feedback from the friend. And then switch um, So if they are also hunting. That also helps. So again, anyone in this room is almost like by definition hunting. So feel free to sort of exchange notes with somebody and, do, and, and if you fancy doing the, the, the optional here. And then reflect afterwards, you know, sort of with the two of you, how did it feel talking about it? Um, and then exchange feedback. You know, like, that sounded great when you said that. You came alive. You were so excitable when you said that. You clearly, that, that was great. You know, so keep going on that. Or I got confused and lost when you said this. So help each other with feedback there. Um, and I love this, again, so trying to plug in some of the research, some of the frameworks in here as we go. I love this article in HBS from Bill George. It's like, you're like, we are constantly doing this as leaders. It's not only when you're on the hunt. We're exploring our, st our stories. We're getting better at our stories. We reflect on it. We seek honest feedback. We understand our purpose and we keep tailoring our style and we keep modifying our story. So this is just something that not only those on the hunt and in the transitions, but it's also in your leadership life. Um, um, do you do this stuff? Um, so last, last, two, last two P's I'll cover quickly and then I'll close on tactics on how to sort of operationalize some of this. Um, on, the, on, on the potential, um, the idea here is this like, you know, sort of on the sort of logic flow is like, how can we be very clear on the destination? And I, and I, I think uh, as a sort of almost like we, we, we are a narrative species, we talk, we tell stories to each other, and we're also a targeting species. We've always targeted things and then gone for them. Um, and so how can you do the target in a way that comes to life for you. I'll, I, again, there's, sort of this, there's courses and other workshops on this in terms of like, like but the thoughts here to, to, to leave you with is a sort of a goal that you might write on the top of the triangle sh sheet, for instance. It's like, what does the future look like? Um, uh, the the uh, person at the back was saying about, you know, sort of like, what does the five to 10 year thing look like? If that's a more compelling picture, write the goal down. Um, if you can, write the goal down in the past tense, a toastable sentence that you want to be true. And it could be quite tactical as well. Like you'd have a big goal, like I've landed something that feels like I'm on my way to, you know, sort of X career, um, but I've hustled and, you know, sort of, you know, had coffees with 20 people on Zoom or in person in the next three months or something like that. And then you have, then you have a number. And that's that third thought. It's like think concrete and quantitative 
like numbers, like can I just talk to 20 people in this area um, and then check them off as you go, um, as well as qualitative, like I've got that sort of moment of realization that I know the direction and I know consulting versus client or whatever it is and I found that I found the position. And then the last thought on progress is where I sort of try and pull this together is, and all these templates are available to you afterwards here and then online as well is is the idea of like getting that spreadsheet and it was, it was funny it made me chuckle when I'm trying to pull you onto spreadsheets just for this particular task because um, normally I'm format independent but uh, just a couple of days ago, there was this article in Wired from, from the top one saying like spreadsheets are hot now. Uh, they're back in. They're the Rosetta Stone of file formats. Easy to view, can do maths, and can store info. And I think for, for maybe overstating it about Rosetta Stone, but just the, that idea of like, I think they're uniquely good at this part of the hunt. Um, so let's go to the spreadsheet and say like, well, what might your spreadsheet be? And I think 20, 30% of you are already there. So just might, this might be tweaking it um, and take some ideas. And for those that haven't started yet, there's a bunch on sort of post-it notes and other things and in your mind, get, starting a spreadsheet is a good idea. So um, key thing is like, and I, I'm sort of hacking the, your brain and sort of emotions here as well. It's like title it so you want to open it regularly. Like, like if it's like jobs, you know, it's like, 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 you know, like, are you ever going to want to double click on it? You know, like, I don't know, sort of life moves or, you know, th think of it, think of words in your, in your language. You're like, I want to double click on that and open it and see what I'm doing. Also put it in an annoyingly visual place, the center of your desktop, the top level of Dropbox, wherever it is. So you actually sort of, it's not hidden, it's obvious, and it's a title that you want to open. Small things. Um, then sort of pull in, and I've, I, on the template I offer, you, you, like there, there's, a there's, there's a tab there, like pull in all the great answers that you've done in your purpose sheets. The, the, the questions that you liked answering and the answers to those questions. Because having it right next to your hunt, I think is, 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 a, good, is a good thing to sort of dual cite it there. Um, then uh, now to the tab that you may well ha have already. I call it, I call it the master list, the pipeline, the big list, Whatever it is, it's this like, like the big list. Um, and, and the key thing that with, that with that master list, here's some thoughts on how to build it. You list more than the vacancies. Um, there's a, when, when we finish on tactics, it's like, you know, sort of, what is it? There's no traffic jam on the extra mile. So, so don't just think, oh, they've got a vacancy, so I can put them down. They don't have a vacancy, so I can't put them down on my list. It's like, what are all the companies, the organizations, nonprofits, government agencies, what are all the forms of things that might be useful given my answers to my questions about what I'm hunting for? And it might have like 20, 30, 40 names. Go for it. Don't, don't, don't constrain yourself. Or I never get in there. That's the worst thing I hear is the sort of self-selecting. I could never get into Tesla, so I'm not going to sort of put them on the list. It's like, why not? You know, it's just like, 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 at least put them down, and then you can work, work it out afterwards. Um, um, put the standard stuff in, which you've probably got, like your contact, how you found them, et cetera, et cetera. And then, and then the idea here is like, and you've done some of the hard work already here today, it's like, what's crucial about the opportunity that you are hunting for? And again, think of those A, B, C, D on the triangle, that sort of second level, down level. It's like, what's crucial? It has to be in, I don't know, I'm guessing the Bay Area. It has to be like um, working for a brilliant manager on, you know, with, with nice culture. It has to be this, a minimum salary some have, people have, whatever it's crucial. And then what of you may be crucial to them? Remember that right-hand triangle. What are, what, are the, what are the key A, B, C, Ds on what, like, what you're proud of and adding value? And then the idea is you fill it out like, 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 and, and all, with the information you have already. So here's your names, positions, and contacts. It's like, what's the heat map of things that are absolutely unique to you? If you add up those A, B, C, D times two, there are eight factors to rate every, every company. And you don't have to know them very well. It's just like, what's your impression on how good they are on, how close they are to San Francisco, how you know, sort of close to your mission they are on saving forests. Whatever it is, it's like you rate them 10, 9, eight, you know, create it. But what you get is this sort of, you know, very quickly a heat map of this is, uh, th this is what I think about all those vacancies. And then, the, and, 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 and then the idea is this, like, that you then sort them. So there's your criteria that's important to you. I had to put some starters in here, but delete and overwrite. They're just starters. Um, and then you can sort them by the average. And the key, the key idea there on the template, that, that, that's the link in the, in the chat, is that when you've done it, it's almost like your brain and gut are now connected as a, as a list. And if they're not connected, like the gut feel should be like, ooh, the thing I really love is at the top of the list. It should be. 
if you've got the criteria right from your deepest purpose and your rating right in terms of this is what I think about them, then basically you could never have done it almost like from your gut alone, but gut and brain have, have almost like come together and it's like top to bottom when rated by the average, that is the one you really want to hunt fall in, in, in sort of almost like brain gut order going down to the bottom. And then the kind of obvious one from me to you is like, if you've got those right, then hunt from the top of the list because the, the, like, the, the, that's the, that, that, those are the people that are almost like most clearly matched to you. Um, another tab here that I, often people get sort of confused on or not confused or rather, but sort of like, 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 well, this person, they don't have a job, but they might be useful for me in getting the job. Um, you know, so, so have another tab as a suggestion on people, the like connectors. Like, like the idea of like, um, you know, sort of um, people that might be good that get to something, you know, or it might be a mentor, might be just useful, might be a faculty member or a staff member here, might be Heather, um, that is just a, you know, amazing at connecting and listening and, and telling you where to go next. That's on the people side. Um, so um, list potentially useful connections and people, put the standard stuff in as before, and then how useful are they to your search? How helpful are they to you? How could you be helpful to them back? It's very authentic. You know, most of these mentor-mentee or useful people relationships are two-way. You're giving them something as well as they're giving you something. Um, and then, uh, and, and I call that the people who matter tab, but they could be headhunters, they could be mentors, they could be faculty, they could be connectors, but it's sort of almost like keep them on your tabs too. Um, Think of, uh, there's a stakeholder matrix, the idea of like um, high influence people in your life and high support people in your life. These are the people that are gonna help you get to get your job, but don't, don't discount the fans, the people that are supportive and could be connecting and working for some of these people. And these are interesting people that, that, that sort of high influence and less support, but they're unlikely to be super useful in your hunt. Um, so two more tabs at least, and then I'll close on the spreadsheet. One is the cold tab. I, I sometimes say like, have a cold tab. So the master list is gonna be depressing if you kind of go through some options and you get declined and rejected, or you move on, or they move on from you. And so, so move them away, either delete them if you've got the courage to say they're never, you know, they're dead to me, they're never happening again. But if, if you can't delete a, 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 like a lead, at least put them in another tab so you're not looking at it all the time. And then, and then, but the more important one is the hot tab. It's almost like Patagonia just kept coming up. They're at the top of the list. All right, create a whole tab on Patagonia. What's their manager's list? Who's on LinkedIn? What have they read so far? What have they posted? Way more facts that will help you in your, in your hunt on Patagonia because they're at the top of the list. So you've got all your job search in one sheet, but then sort of the, the, hot, the hot tabs are taking those top two or top three, and you're sort of getting all the, all, all the list of, of things that you want to know about them. Um, so strategy and tactics, last piece, and I think I've got, what, five minutes to do, to, uh, to, do, to, to uh, bring you home on strategies and tactics. Yeah, 12.54. Okay, so strategies and tactics. Um, um, one is like on the research stage, just consider all the resources you have available. Everyone here in the Yale community that's here or joining online, it's just like you've got all these things that people would, you know, are spending a lot of money on outside to subscribe to. You've got them here in the library. Um, if you're working on another company, like you might also have databases um, that you know sort of that you can you can tap into on the company database. So what have you got there in terms of um, databases to, to sort of search the companies? Alumni, if you're on the, the alumni, the directory, how can you find people that are there and, and sort of you know sort of are already appreciative of you? The LE ecosystem, the people at the CDOs, um, Kevin's on the line, um, you know sort of CBase here, but there's all these others as well. Like like like, who can you connect with? This is. Uh, so this was sketched a couple of years ago, the FES career community, all the people that are sort of in and around that the career development offices can connect you with. Uh, think of, it, there's an enormous amount of people here that want to help you. And, and for those in, 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 in sort of outside beyond Yale, same thing. Like, like what's, your, what's your network, your ecosystem? Um, the, the CDO website has got things like, where do people go and how much, how much do they earn? Um, and there's sort of a community to, net, to network. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, we're here for you. And I can, I can, I can read it as if, if I'm quick enough. Um, librarians everywhere, but especially at Yale, sort of click on the librarians, ask them, it's like, I'm wondering if there's a database that has all the companies in this radius or in this industry that are, are you know, startup or whatever, they, they will say, oh, we subscribe to a database that gives you that list. So, so sort of go to, go to them and use them. Um, uh, and then uh, closing on a couple of thoughts on tactics, it's almost like that, this is a, a long research-based article of saying uh, the perfect might be the enemy of the good. Um, the idea of like, I'm not gonna say yes to anything other than the thing is absolutely perfect for me. Um, and the idea of like the, the pursuit of the elusive best, 
um, um, you know, sort of, and you can get, get lost in there. Um, so the thought here on the sort of the uh, and I question you for the sort of as you're considering it for the less than ideal, is like on internships and even in just sort of like well this is a temporary thing on the way to something is like if you really know what you want and it's wide open then it's a speedboat straight towards the mark. But for those that know sailing, it's like you know you might have to tack a few times. You might you know you can't sail directly into the wind. You might have to go there, pick that up, and then go there and pick that up, and then they'll really want you. Um, but that idea of like, is it a tack, but don't get caught into almost like turning the wrong way and going the wrong way, go backwards. It's just like, make sure it's a tack and make sure you still know what mark you're heading for. And then the other, the other question I have for you as well on this tactic side is, is the idea of like passion and expertise. That I'll like, feel your passion. You just have to follow your passion, you have to follow your love. Um, and there's quite a lot of writing that's really quite interesting about like sometimes passion follows expertise rather than the other way around. So sometimes it's like, like you get good at something and then you get passionate about it because you're good at it um, and, and you work it out. And then other ways it's the other way it works. Like I want to get good at X because I feel so strongly about it and then you get good at it. So just think it doesn't always work in that sort of linear order, uh, whichever way you had it in your mind. Um, and then the hustle, last piece, uh, as we close, as we close on, on, on one o'clock Eastern. It's just like, you know, so seize the day. I, I just wanted to have, a, I love this one as a perspective on effort. This was a refugee uh, rocket scientist, um, dressed up in, in his best suit, um, sort of get, get, got a sign, this is Canary Wharf in London, with his resumes in a box. And it's just like, that's hustling. You know, like, so, so if we think, oh, it's a really hard job market out there, it's just like, that's a really hard job market. Um, so, so have a think on the hustle. How do you get to that piece, that no traffic jam on the extra mile? I think a lot of it is on the spreadsheet, is just like, if you're hunting on those eight criteria that are unique to you, then actually there's less and less people at the top of that list. Like you've got quite a unique list. And so, so think about that, but then we have to hustle. Um, and I say hustle from the hot tab, like find out everything you can about that company. Um, I don't know if you've already got this, you definitely, definitely should. LinkedIn, connections in the news, anyone you're ever connected with, you're then served automatically uh, results from your connections. So that's another advantage of connecting with absolutely anyone that's remotely useful to you. Um, and even saying yes to people that you don't really know that well, it's like, because there's some really interesting news. I just got this one out because it was last, last night. It's like, what you find is you find the jobs before the job description is written. So Jake, I don't really know him that well, has got a security startup and he nets 7 million in seed funding. He does not have any job descriptions yet. He's delighted to have funding. You go, dear Jake, awesome news on the $7 million. Do you have an idea on who you need? And, and by the way, I would love an internship. Security startup is exactly what I want at the intersection of human behavior. Like, I would love to be there. And he goes, wow, they know my $7 million seed round has just finished. Uh, they are willing to help me write the job description. It's like, this person is a dream come true. And, 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 and the opposite is true. It's like job vacancies. It's like, you're the you know, X hundredth person to see that job vacancy. So search from here and hustle from the hot tab, you know, so yes, go for a vacancy if you see it, but I'm just sort of expectation structuring in terms of where you think you'll actually find the job. It's helping this person write the job. Um, authentic net networking. I just wanted to sort of, look, the last three columns that have sharp eyes would have spotted that I didn't cover them yet, is in both tabs, I've put in a suggested three columns, the hustle within both tabs. And the idea there is, um, you know, there's your list, there's your standard stuff, there's your criteria. Have you done enough? And in here, I've got three columns. I have done enough. Tick the box. The, the ball is in their court. I've just sent them an application. I've just poked them on email. I've just said hello. Um, when did I last reach out and do that? And then this calculates how many days ago was that? So if you're hunting from the top, you go, oh my goodness, you know, sort of 55 days on my top list. What am I doing? I've let that connection lapse for almost two months. Um, it's my job, not theirs, to work out if I'm interesting to them. Um, I'm hustling. So this is this is an idea of like helping you hustle on your hot tab. Um, and then um, in terms of like how do you operationalize, get the interview, land the thing. I love the stuff, and I've, I've, I've sort of short linked them here, bit linked. Um, the SCFE, the self-contained forwarded email. Anyone that's had a one-on-one -on -one with me, that, that then my network is then in some way useful to you, um, we've talked about this. The idea is like, can you send me an email that will take me a second to forward with a, this person's amazing, check out below. It won't be a waste of your time. And, that, and everything is, con is contained in that email so I can forward it. 
if you want senior, senior people or just time-starved people to help you, the self-contained forwarded email is just gold um, in terms of what to do. So feel free to write, read the articles on this, this, this stuff. Chris Freelich is, 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 is an entertaining read on it. And this is excellent. It's just like, this is a, a, a sort of an idea of like introduction to Heather Fitzgerald. Like, like, hi, Peter. Thanks again for a discussion. You offered to introduce me to Heather um, to explore if there's any roles in CBay uh, where I can share. I'm so excited about CBay because here's my resume. And all I do is say forward to Heather. Heather, you won't be wasting your time. This person's awesome. That's all I have to do. So la last piece is to say, like, like things that people wish you knew. Uh, top things professional with you knew. CV, get your content reviewed. Um, covering letter, get it reviewed, get it tight. Does it speak to your two triangles tightly and, and, and sort of uniquely, so it's uniquely you, but it's also unique to the job. Um, interview practice, pitching with a friend, uh, pitch development, and then follow up. That's the other one that's sort of huge. It's just like, thank you for your time, just to reiterate, da da da. And it's just like, it's just, just those tiny pieces are huge in the land of the hire. Um, uh, and then, again, just to try and drop some of the research in here, Abara does some fantastic stuff on working identity. The idea here is like, I've given you some, hopefully some frameworks and tools over the last hour. Basically, it's like act, don't just in introspect. Don't just sort of pour over this spreadsheet until it's perfect. It's like contact somebody, you know, sort of get out there and, 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 and sort of almost like update your, update your filter. Um, find people, not just work. I love that one. Just that idea of like, like I want to work with them. Um, I also don't care where they're, what they're doing. It's going to be exciting what they do next. And sort of find meaning in this, because that's where you're, you'll become infectious to others. Um, so last couple of things. Two triangles and a square for the interview and the call. Think about your pre-plan each interview slash informational call with your two triangles. What's my story from the top down? Not to bore them, but I can drill down if they want the detail. But I, I can sort of pitch them on these two triangles. And then last thought, and it's in your workbook uh, template here. Is the box breathing? The idea of like, like resetting yourself so that um, it's a practice of just breathing in, holding your lungs full, breathing out, and then holding your lungs empty. Just that idea of unplugging the television set and putting it back in again. Just like reset before these important meetings, making sure you've got buffers in between so you can be yourself and your best self there. Um, in fact, uh, one of my favorite quotes, be yourself, only better. Um, so to close, well, I think I'm right, right on one o'clock here. Um, you, you notice that I love the PowerPoint uh, cover slide of, of uh, Heather found, uh, the, jag the Jaguar. They hunt alone. Um, they're one of the few that are sort of fantastic at hunting and hunting alone. And they're up, uh, up on that cliff or that tree and says like, that's what I want. Don't hunt like the, hi the, the, um, the wild dogs. Um, this guy might have a chance because he's looking over here at something else. Uh, this guy's okay because he's eyeing the, the fresh meat in the truck that's watching them. Um, but these guys, they're all hunting another wild dog. You know, it's like you're, you're, that's the vacancies. And that's the stuff that's sort of like, like on your own with your eight criteria. And you found the person that's uniquely invested in you and you're exciting to them. Um, so framework and structure. So four Ps together. Get a spreadsheet, a structure. Research, refine, select, persevere, and be yourself and you'll get there. You don't need good luck. Uh, it's just like all the best. And thanks very much, and I'll hang around afterwards.